The next course, another masterpiece. It's literally the size of a small surfboard. I'm in Rabat. This is the capital city of Morocco. And if you love to eat, it's one of the greatest Moroccan food cities. Steamed cow's head. Look at the way it just melts in your fingers. From some of the most mouth-watering street food in the old town. <laughs> to spice-filled bubbling tagines. Look at that steam rising to the top. A trap door here on the bottom. To home cooking that's so impressive it will make your jaw drop. Oh, well, look at that platter. That's huge. Today, we're eating some of the best Moroccan food in all of Rabat. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. We're going on an ultimate food tour and starting with street food. This gate is called Bab al-Had. Uh, Bab al-Had uh, means uh, Sunday's gate. Because uh, back in the days, here was a big Sunday's market. Okay, uh, the wall is separating the new from the old. We are walking into the gate to Old Rabat. And welcome to Old Rabat. And the wall itself dates back to 1229. Right, so Where now we're we in the moment? central market uh, here in uh, Rabat, uh, which is one of the nicest markets. Uh, first of all, this is the fish section. But we're, we're here for a special type of bread found here in uh, one of the bakeries. Fresh sardines. And are sardines a delicacy here? Are oh, they yes, popular? Yes, yes. Specialized in all sorts of uh, bread. But, uh, of course, those breads that you see right here are something that you can find almost everywhere in Morocco. But what unique to like Rabat and the region here is this stringy looking bread. So we have uh, uh, Raziza. Raziza is uh, the name of this uh, bread. It's like a stringy bread. We're talking actually about the same recipe like Nimsemmel, but it's a totally different technique. It's like making noodles. They keep like stretching the dough and uh, pulling it out until they obtain like super thin uh, wires of dough. Like, yeah, and um, they keep like wrapping it in their uh, hand. Uh, Rosé is actually the name of the bread, translate to turban. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so we're starting off with the Raziza, and this is something that's that's especially famous from Rabat. Uh, yeah, typical to the region, Rabat, okay. Kinitra, Saleh, like okay. the region. Yeah. I love the texture of it. Oh, yes. All right, man. Yeah. Well, Rabat. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's all about the texture. Yeah, exactly. Should mm -hmm. we crunch it a little bit? Mm-hmm. Mm. Really nice, yeah. The dough has a really nice chewiness to it. Mm. Like yeah. a like a really chewy noodle almost. Then just with that sweetness from the, the mm -hmm. honey contrasting the saltiness of the dough. Yeah. It's great. Kind of that sweet and salty contrast. So normally we we, we should have it with tea. Okay. But, yeah. A, a street food style. It would be good with you, yeah. <laughs> exactly. This is like a breakfast uh, uh, bread. Okay. Originally, or traditionally, this bread is served for the newly married couple on their first breakfast together. Ah, okay. <laughs> but of course now, since it's available in the market, you can get married every day. Okay. Well, <laughs> Mohammed, <laughs> <laughs> This is our day, man. <laughs> I think it's quite an addictive taste and then it's also quite fun to eat because you've got exactly. crunchy bits, crunchy bits, gooey bits, um, chewy bits. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Great. The texture is actually incredible. How do you like it, Tariq? Phenomenal. <laughs> that's that's the sign of good quality, you see? <laughs> <laughs> a little, a yeah, little yeah. stuck in the beard, <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. 
This old town of Rabat dates back, I mean, approximately a thousand years ago, and it's so beautifully well preserved. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's also walking only, just like many of the old towns within Morocco. Uh, so there are some motorbikes, but no, no vehicles, no cars, which makes it really nice for walking around. And we're here in the middle of the morning. Things are just starting to wake up. Businesses are starting to open. Food stalls are starting to open. This is verbena, this is wormwood, this is uh, wild mint, you have sage, you have margarine, you have uh, spearmint, chamomile, uh, pennyroyal or polo mint. You know, you can make a teapot out of all those herbs mixed together. So all of these herbs are for tea? Exactly, all okay. for tea. And you have actually the fresh version, you have also the dried version right oh, there. Oh man. This is literally a, the uh, third generation of the same family running this uh, business. Wow. Those guys actually had been here uh, since the 60s, till actually from the picture right there. Their wow. own speciality is shibakia. Shibakia. Shibakia, yes. So we're, we're here to learn about and to try, it's called shibak shibakia? Shibakia, shibakia which is a, a specialty sweet. And so they're actually wrapping them fresh here in the back, made from a dough. He folds them into little, like, ribbons almost. Then they're deep fried, and then they're dunked into a bucket of honey to just absorb that honey, and then they're drained. What a process. Oh, okay, so when they're finished deep frying, he drains it, oh, and it goes directly into the bucket of honey. What a move. Such a cool process, how they fry it, dunk it in honey, then drain it, and then here's where they sell it. I mean, it's as fresh as possible. Sell it right along the street, and here's how you, you get out of here. There's a little portal, a little door, a trap door here on the bottom. You gotta squeeze out, <laughs> and now we're ready to taste it. <laughs> Sprinkle of sesame seeds. Oh, you can see how, feel how crispy they are, and then so sticky from that honey. Mmm, okay. <laughs> totally surprised. I thought it was gonna be crispier. It's actually more crumbly. Exactly. exactly. Wow. Yeah, yeah. When you pick it up, it feels like it's gonna be a chip, like totally crunchy all the yeah. way through. But yeah, it's more like a, a soft dough. Exactly. The honey actually that crumbles. soaks in uh, the honey. The honey that probably reduces very, the crispiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's again, really good. And the sweetness is coming from that honey, which is, that's a lot of honey. Yeah. But it is really good. <laughs> and then you do taste a little bit of that oil fragrance since it's been deep fried. Yeah. Um, and just absorbing some of that oil as well. It's really good though. <laughs> really nice. Okay, shukran. Shukran. Oh man, so this entire street, you could just smell the clouds of smoke just wafting into the air, but they're grilling things. This is a food street, they're frying things. You can get a variety of different sandwiches. Uh, we got the mixed sandwich with liver, with onions, with sausage. He mashes that all up, chops it up into bite-sized pieces, fills it up into bread, and then sprinkles it with a combination of cumin and chili powder. Oh man, this smells so good. Oh man, stuffed into a fluffy, Fluffy bread. Yep, yep. Seasoned with cumin and chili powder. Yep. Oh man, this looks good. I will, I will do like a little cross section. All hot and fresh. It just yes. never stops sizzling on that wow. hot plate until you order it. Exactly. All right, Cheers. Man. Cheers, man. Mm. 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 Oh wow. My kind of food. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, it's so tasty. Wow. You really taste the sweetness of the onions, actually. Oh, yeah. Well, the so casing the, of the sausage is really good. The too. texture of the mm -hmm. liver is like butter. Mm -hmm. It's like cream. It wow. melts in your mouth. Yeah. Wow. Then you've got little bits of sausage in there, which also kind of crumble. <laughs> you've got the, the minced meat, almost like little kapta in there as well, that kind of um, has a different taste as well. Yeah, exactly. And then also that, that final sprinkle of chili powder that also mm -hmm. just takes mm -hmm. it to the next level. <laughs> oh, man. Delicious. Very good. The turmeric, the onions, 
It's so tasty. Yeah, that liter the, the liver literally just dissolves on your tongue. Mm. It's almost like making a sauce in your mouth. Liquefies. That is a street food snack of champions. Mm. That was extraordinary. Conveniently, right across the street is where we're eating our next food. Oh, I can smell it wrapped up in this plastic bag. That is an absolute steam bath. Oh yeah, the heads actually had been uh, steaming for six hours since okay. 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, they will set up the whole thing. They will leave it steam for uh, six hours actually. And uh, yeah, now actually we're gonna taste. We got all the parts actually, the cheeks, the tongue, the uh, 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 around the ears, around oh, the man. eyes. Awesome. Cow's head, steamed cow's head. The whole head steamed for six hours in a plastic bag kind of a balloon, steamed in a balloon. You can just see that the meat is already just falling off. Look at that whole cheek is just falling off. Oh, look at how tender that is. Oh, it's literally melting, just falling off the, the head bones. Chili, cumin, salt, some of the seasoning ingredients. <laughs> and I think we got half the cheek right there. Yeah. Oh, that's one of the premium parts of the cow head. Oh, you can feel how jiggly it is. Look at the way it just melts. It melts in your fingers before you even take a bite. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. 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 You, don't, you don't need cheese. No. <laughs> It's baby food. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it literally, like, the fibers of the muscles have just been totally broken down yeah, from that yeah. steaming oh. to the point where it literally just, yeah, dissolves. <laughs> it just, you, well, you put your tongue to it and it dissolves on your tongue. Yeah. It's fatty. Yeah. It's yeah. meaty. It has an incredible texture. The flavor, the saltiness, the cumin, the chili powder, yeah. that's all you need. Mm. That's it's been very rich also. Yeah, that's actually why yeah. you gotta wash it with the, oh, okay. the mint tea. But this one is a sweet one. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> we have some mint tea to, to drink as we eat it. To yeah. Look at how the, gooey it is. Get like a pot. Yeah. I do want to sprinkle on some more yes, chili. more chili. A little more chili oh. to this, mate. Mm. 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 Wow. Mm. Incredibly tasty. Mm. Man. Wow. Wow. That's so good. That is so good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's your first sweet mint tea. With the, the full sweetness potential, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't go well together. <laughs> when you have that, that sweetness of the tea, no. you have the mint in there that also refreshes your mouth. Kind of cleanses your palate from the the gooiness yep. of the cow head. But man, that's tasty. That is unbelievable flavor. Can I try it? You can, but it's sprinkle that with a little bit of more cumin, let's, chili powder. Let's try to find us. Actually, <laughs> shakra, shakra. Oh, wow. Man, that is extreme tenderness. Oh man, steamed cow head with bread, cumin, chili pepper. That was so, so good. And again, the convenience of this street, we're going back across the street a second time to eat next. So we have actually here a very typical street food of uh, the city of Rabat. It's maquda and sardines. Uh, so uh. maquda actually is just like a mashed potato ball buried in uh, eggs and flour and everything is deep fried. Okay. Uh, and then you have the sardines actually right here, uh, like two sardines, one against each other with a charmoula, like a marinade in between. And again, everything deep fried. The locals actually like to make a sandwich uh, out of 
everything that you see here in the in this table. And as Mohammed was mentioning, they do often put it, everything into a sandwich. Yes. But since we've had a few sandwiches and quite a quite a lot of bread already, <laughs> we'll go with the the no bread option. So we've got the sardines. We've got the the makuda. Ma makuda. Makuda. Yes. yes. Extra crispy. Yes. Yeah, so All I right. like actually the combination of the oh, two. Oh, nice. Like, I like, you know. Oh, that's a nice exactly. move. So you put them together? Exactly. Put them that's together. A good move. Okay. And this is the harissa. Oh, yeah. I want to do like a harissa. nice smear. Nice it's an smear. absolute must. Yeah. Oh, exactly. nicely done. Really puffy. Scoop up that. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> well, Wait, so that the um, what's making the what's the orangeness of that? Is uh, it like a pumpkin uh, or? So the uh, it's just eggs and flour. Okay. Uh, but uh, there is also spices: turmeric, uh, okay. paprika. Mm. Oh, maybe the turmeric is what's making it yes, so yellow. Yes. What, what makes it? Because it's yellow. really fluffy, almost yep. like the texture of pumpkin, like a deep fried puck. Yep. That's yep. really spongy, and then. Okay, sardines are sardines. Sardines are just delicious. Yeah. But fresh Always. sardines, of course, yeah. they're not. Few not, things not in the world can beat sardines, fresh yeah. sardines. You can see actually with how that white, spice paste. How white the meat of the sardines is. Yeah, with yeah, that spice so. paste, that oh, herbal spice paste, um, a sprinkle of cumin on top, and then the harissa, a little bit spicy mm. with the flavor, a little bit salty, um, and then with the, the flavor of that, that dry or that, that preserved lemon. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Wow. Giving it that acidity. Man, that's good. Mm. Benin. 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 <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Now walking through the old old Rabat, we are stopping for some sugar cane juice, some fresh sugar cane juice. It has a massive squeezer, a juicer, massive juicer, almost the size of a refrigerator. Takes the fresh sugar cane, just pokes it in, pushes it into the juicer, and it comes out totally juiced with some ginger, with some lime or lemon in there as well. Okay. Shukran. Fresh squeeze. Yeah, very sweet. But it does, it is nicely balanced with the lemon juice, with the ginger, a little bit of ginger in there. And when it's freshly squeezed like that, I mean, you just, that makes it, that you taste the difference, the freshness of it, the extreme sweetness, but so good, so refreshing. We are just navigating our way through the, the back streets, through the market lanes, and now we're passing through a fresh wet market where they have all of the fresh produce, all the vegetables, the fruits that are in season, and it's just a colorful assortment, so many different things. Uh, all the things that go into local Moroccan cuisine, cooking, breads, bakeries, seafood, chicken, beef, yeah, it's incredible. And then additionally, you have all the dry ingredients too, from spices to beans to nuts and dried fruits, all just in this labyrinth of lanes and alleys. Actually, they are baking for everyone here in the neighborhood. And as you can see, actually, here, all the different trays, all the different, you know, pieces of fabric. So literally, the uh, families will prepare loaves of bread uh, at home and bring it here to be uh, baked. Okay. Uh, and, uh, like, they can literally put, if they don't have time to bring it all the way to here, they can put the trays right in front of their doorstep, and anyone passing by, he will pick up the tray and bring it here. Uh -huh. The guy that works here knows all the trays of the neighborhoods, all the types of breads, all the pieces of fabric, so he knows it belongs to you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> They've invited us into the kitchen, but we have to jump over, jump over this cabinet to get in. <laughs> it's the coolest entrance to a kitchen. Oh, I'm gonna have a chance to, to sit in the baker's seat. Oh man, so he just, that props, props to him. Oh, he sits here all day. Wow, look at the steam coming out of the baker, out of the oven. Look at that steam rising to the top, that smoke. Wow, talk about an ancient oven. Man, the bread baking. Okay, we better get out of here before we burn the bread.
such an incredible concept. They don't prepare, they don't make the dough, they don't make bread. It's strictly an oven where they bake the community's bread and anyone can come here from the community to bake their bread. They'll bake it, they know how to bake everything. Um, he even knows the pans of everybody in the community in the neighborhood since 1975 baking. Wow. It's such a cool, such an incredible, it's an ancient concept. Shukran. Shukran. Okay. <laughs> Go down this alley, narrow alleys, passageways, tunnels, and archways. Please welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Okay. Thank you. Where are we at, Mohammed? Exactly. We are actually in a, a nice local, typical restaurant. Uh, the owner of the home actually turned this uh, to uh, like his old home to a restaurant. Okay. This is like a typical uh, Riyadh Moroccan uh, architecture. Oh, yeah. uh, you get all the rooms actually opens to the courtyard, and the courtyard oh, okay. is open to uh, to the sky. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, so this is where we're gonna have lunch. Exactly. This and is we're gonna our, have a spot. Uh, this is our table. What a meal so far she brought out. They brought out all the different salads, the side dishes, the roasted peppers, the eggplant. Some of them that are sweet, some of them that are savory, and then the tagines, which are the dishes, a variety of dishes cooked in the clay pot with a, a triangular cone-shaped top or lid. And we're about to open them up and reveal yeah. them. All the aromas are just coming out of the tagines. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it Still, smells uh, good. Okay. Whoa, all the steam. Oh man, what a move. They lifted the lids of the tagines all together at once, so this poof of smoke and steam rose out of the pots, out of the tagines. That aroma, toasty, smoky, fresh, all the herbs. Oh, what an incredible diversity of food, and we're gonna taste them all. Yes, we're ready. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, I, get, I think this is actually gonna be our first full, really Moroccan yes. meal of yep. all the variety of dishes. Such an incredible spread of food. Nice. Bread. The staple, something that you'll eat with every single meal, and you can just grab a piece, make a little scooper. <laughs> exactly. This is what we need to begin with. <laughs> Thick tomato sauce, and as it was bubbling, you could just Ooh, see this red oil just kind of coming out. just kind of yeah. bubbling away. Wow, it's so hot. Oh yeah. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Meatballs on fire still. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The char in the bottom. Yeah. Oh my God. That's what's giving it so much flavor. Oh, smokiness. Because it's kind of like, the tomato sauce is kind of charred, yeah. yeah. Totally charred on the bottom. And that smokiness just kind of comes through to the, to the meatballs. Oh, it's so good. The tartness of the tomato sauce. Maybe parsley in there as well that you can no, taste? That's parsley. Yeah. Parsley? Yeah. 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 Um, Cumin, paprika. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you taste all those spices, but they're not overpowering. Yeah. They're just like a harmony within that that tomato sauce within mm. that, those meatballs. So that, that's lamb. beef. Okay, beef. Uh, and with caramelized prunes. Prunes, yeah, yeah. sesame seeds in here. Yeah. And so what's making it so yellow? Is it the, uh, the turmeric? Turmeric, okay. The turmeric, yes. turmeric, oh. Well, ideally, you oh, need it's to like scoop in some, some, oily. some of the- uh, Get the prune as well. Yeah. Wow, it's so hot in there. It's so hot down there. Oily, really juicy. Oh, that just, so. the sauce just totally absorbs, absorbs into the, the bread. Just remove the prune bit, but mm, that is a true oily, meaty caramelization with the sweetness of the prune. Mm. That's like sweet, fruity, melt in your mouth beef. <laughs> the nuts and fruits in there are just totally represented, yeah, yeah. but in a savory kind of way. So basically, that's so good. Yeah, the, the prunes are caramelized separately. Usually, all in all our like sweet and savory dishes, there will be two preparations. Uh, two preparations separate oh, okay. from each other. Okay. Like here, like here. Okay. Yeah. And it's so rich too. I think all of that beef fat has just mm -hmm. melted out. And you need that tagine to keep it hot so it stays liquid. Yeah. Next dish we have, there's, I'm gonna part the fries so we can see the chicken. There's chicken underneath here. Oh yes. 
I think we had this dish before. Yes. One of my favorite dishes so far. <laughs> Chicken, the fresh olives, and lemon. Preserved lemon. All right. Wow. What's the name of this dish? Uh, it's, well, it, it translates literally to chicken with olives and lemon. Oh, okay, so straight yeah. up. Yeah, exactly. It is yeah. exactly what the name says. Okay, so get some of that lemon. Get some of those olives. Mmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I love that dish. Mm. Mm. You've got the, the um, complexity of the olives. The lemon. complexity of the mm-hmm. lemon is what just mm-hmm. totally makes no, it no, that no. acidity, and yet it's more than that. It's more than mm-hmm. just a, a fresh. When you preserve the yeah. lemons like yeah. that, it just like magnifies mm-hmm. the flavor. Moving on to the vegetable, tagine. Yeah. Um, you can see some uh, green carrots peas, in there, carrots, potato, zucchini, potato, zucchini. Yeah. Just. You know, oh, and underneath it, there's is... cauliflower. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's even olives in here too. Yes. There's olives. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Mm. The olive. Mm. Olive is so good too. Oh man, that's just oh, yeah. yeah, it's steamed mm. until it literally just falls apart, just melts in your mouth as you take a bite. Simple, natural, but you taste the, the freshness yeah. of all yeah. the yeah. all the vegetables, all the ingredients. And then next up for the couscous. This is another just incredible centerpiece. Chickpeas, beef, just so saucy. And that sauce on top yeah. with all the raisins with the caramelized onions on here. Best to get a little bit of everything on one bite. Piece of beef. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. That's some good couscous. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's so fluffy and moist. Yeah. Really sweet. The raisins are almost like a, almost like a smoky jam mm. on top with, because they've yeah. probably been sauteed and cooked down with those oh, onions. Yes. Yes. Sweetness coming out of the onions, sweetness coming out of the raisins, then paired with a savory stew of that beef. Yeah, beef and the couscous itself. And then everything absorbing into the couscous. Yeah. yeah. Man, all the different dishes, totally different flavors, unique set of ingredients. Yeah. Extraordinary. And so the dough, it's really thin, right? It's like a super thin. Similar similar to phyllo, but not exactly. It's the phyllo dough. It it, It it is is like phyllo dough, okay. Yes, yes. The same phyllo dough used for, uh, yeah, all the other Filo dough pastries, yes. really thin dough, and probably multiple layers of it. Chicken, oh man, that's fully loaded too. Yeah. Stuffed, almonds on top, sugar, cinnamon. <laughs> you get some- oh, man, you, yeah. can, you can already feel how, like, how many layers there are of that dough. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Again, <laughs> that's like the definition of sweet and savory all together in one dish yeah, right there. Yeah, It's not too sweet. No. Yeah, yeah. No. Not it's, too sweet. Yeah. But you almost like are not sure if it's a, a main dish or a dessert mm. or, or a, yeah, <laughs> because, of, because of that, that powdered yeah, sugar so, and that cinnamon. Yeah. But then you taste the chicken and you're like, oh, yes, <laughs> it's kind of all together. Mm-hmm. Well. Wow. Well, that couscous, so tasty. Man, the richness of the meat stew, the sweetness of the raisins and onions. All right, the bone marrow is in the center there as well. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, oh, it popped out. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Scoop in for that bone marrow. Wow. Oh, oh, it's oozy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Butter. Smoky too, yeah. It's like butter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Smoky. No. Sweet. Nutty. Yeah, yeah, I get some of the sweetness. Dried well. fruity. Oh, well, yeah. I haven't even had time to explore all of the, the salads and the appetizers. This one is a variety of roasted peppers. Mm. Oh, wonderful. Oh, man. Just the smokiness of all those peppers. Probably charred down, roasted until they're really tender. And yeah, just bringing out their full flavor potential. And next we have tomatoes, cucumbers. <laughs> mm. 
maybe a little bit of black pepper, and maybe some uh, lemon juice to make it sour. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much, thank you very much. Wow, that was an incredible, absolutely amazing meal. Just showing the diversity of ingredients used in Moroccan cuisine. Dar El Medina, spectacular restaurant. Come on, Micah. <laughs> After a lunch that size, we need to do a little bit of walking and sightseeing, and so we are at the Kasbah of the Ujayas. And this is a fortress that is along the river in Rabat. Kasbah had been built uh, technically in the 11th century. Okay. But what remains from the 11th century uh, building is like a little ruined wall uh, uh, right. that we can see actually right there. Uh, the building that we're visiting right now, it uh, dates all the way back to the 12th century. Well, it's a little bit windy out here, but we have just emerged to where the Atlantic meets the Buradeg River. Uh, which flows and actually bisects. You have on this side Rabat and then on the other side Saleh. Yes. And so it's a landmark kind of at this triangle moment where the triangle position where the Atlantic meets the river. After lunch and that stroll, we're at famous tea shop along the river within the fortress. And we're just gonna have some sweets. We're gonna have some mint tea, aid in the digestion and just relax this afternoon a little bit. can never have enough Moroccan mint tea. Ah, yes. And with a, man, that view, that view, the castle walls, the fortress walls, the river, and the breeze just continually sweeps off the Atlantic, off the river. So you continuously have a beautiful breeze. What a beautiful day. Trying some of the sweets here. Oh, that one is really crumbly, sweet, and kind of dry. And then we've got another one, like a ring of... Mm, this one is more moist. Kind of uh, crumbly on the inside. You need to have tea with that. We had a little bit of a rest this afternoon, and tonight we are going over to Mohammed, his mother's house. And again, Mohammed, he's uh, from Moroccan Food Tours, and he, this is his hometown, Rabat. So this is going to be an honor to have a home-cooked Moroccan meal. Yeah, welcome home, man. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, well, it's, it's an very honor cool to be here. here. Thank it's you very really much. Honor having you here. Thank you very yeah. much. Welcome. All right. Please. Oh, yes. Welcome, man. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay, into the kitchen now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, there's some giant platters going on. Hello. Okay. They are the uh, ones that did all They're the, the main chefs. cooking, of course. Mom yeah. and auntie. All the preparation. Oh, man. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that platter. <laughs> That's huge. Very oh. much on chicken. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna try. Is it a uh, chicken? Chicken, chicken bariwan. bariwan. So it looks like we are in for uh, an extraordinary feast, a huge feast. There's some massive platters of food, but beginning with some little snacks. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, so good. So crispy. Wow. This is just the start. Like, we need a how to manual. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to need to pace ourselves because there's a lot of food still coming, but we're beginning with it's literally a tray on top of a tray, a sculpture. This is only the beginning. This is the, the first course <laughs> seafood, vegetables, salads. It's like 10 dishes all on one tray. And it's really an honor to be here with your entire family wow. celebrating this meal. 
Oh man, so many different salads, beans and radish and potatoes. Shrimp. Oh, what do we have on the bottom here? Is it uh, like uh, uh, is it barley? Oh, like oh, like bar. Okay, like like wheat. Okay. And um, uh, just tuna. And, uh, okay. With some uh, shrimp corn. and seafood. Okay. So here we are. We're dishing out. We're all kind of figuring out how to the best way, the best strategy to dig into this gigantic salad sculpture. I got that top salad with some of the shrimp, with some of the wheat beans in here. Mm. Mm. This is say something mm. that we eat in our weddings, for example. It's something that, oh, okay. Yeah, like in a wedding. Like a platter like this. Exactly. Like okay. a spl platter of entrees or salads would be something like this. Like a wedding yeah. feast. Exactly. exactly. Awesome. Mm. There's ham. There's cabbage. There's uh, cucumbers. Beans. Wheat. Mm. Yeah, we are in great hands tonight. Oh, oh man, this is delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's delicious. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Muscular. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Excellent start. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and uh, everyone in Morocco, his mom's cooking is the best. Oh yes. So for me, that's the best. It's the best. <laughs> I agree. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's inside of the sauce? Uh, Sharmoula. It's uh, with uh, parsley, coriander, onions, oh, okay. and the uh, spices, yeah. Okay, and then it's kind of cooked in that sauce? The chicken is cooked in that sauce? Uh, or is it cooked separate? Uh, separate. Separate, okay. Man, platter after platter, four <laughs> chickens on a platter, yeah. braised, roasted, and just completely covered in a sauce called dagmira, dagmira yes. which is a reduction of onions, yeah. parsley, yeah, fragrant yeah. spices. Exactly, and all the broth the way the chicken would be. All the broth be. condensed. Oh, yeah until it thickens, until a, like a melt-in-your-mouth paste of spices and onions and chicken broth, topped with all that chicken, topped with uh, little toothpicks of quail eggs, quail eggs. topped with the, the bariwat, <laughs> peanuts. The um, almonds. Like, They're almonds. Yes, uh, unskinned and Oh, fried. yeah, almonds. I thought it was peanuts. Yeah. Oh, okay, so they're small little almonds. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh man! Another intimidating <laughs> platter of food. Platter. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, there goes man. one bird. <laughs> yeah, these are like it's complicated dishes to to dig into. You just don't know quite how to tackle these sculptures of food. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. but they're so beautiful. Well, let's let's go for uh, the no-brainer. Okay. Brewa. So we start with the brewa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then get yeah. going with bread. Yeah, bread with a little bit of dalmira. Okay. So start first with the dalmira. Yeah, exactly. That paste. Just oh, and there's it, dip it a little bit the chicken in liver is within yeah. that paste at the bottom. Get some of that liver. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. And I'm just my mama. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. I agree. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The, the sweetness of the onions, all those spices in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh man, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you can turn to the chicken. Yeah. Piece of the leg. Or the or Break yeah. into the chicken. Very good, very good. Just then, Again, then totally dip, dip into the, the sauce. Thing. The oil sauce. Oh, the parsley and onions. And then get that all together. Oh, yeah. mm. All right. Mm. Oh wow, mm. that is phenomenal. 
enemy if well. anyone in Corona does. Mm. And it, the onions, there's so many onions. They were telling me like maybe five kilos of onions oh, are reduced kilos. down into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's so many onions in there that's creating this entire like sauce of yeah. reduction of onions that almost tastes like fruity because of those onions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, like uh, for ceremonial dishes, actually we put a lot of textures. The bariwet, the eggs, the ah, almonds. Grab almonds yeah. as well. The livers, the, yeah. So, so yeah, for the, the, the more important the celebration here is, the more textures you will find in oh, the dishes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Man, okay, and when you reach into that chicken, you just wanna just drench your bread into that green sauce. That is just award-winning flavor, and then it mixes with the liver as well to make it even richer, with the oils coming out. Oh, just absorb it into your bread. Oh, that is. Some of the tastiest chicken you'll ever have. Absolutely <laughs> sensational. The next course, another masterpiece. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Next course. <laughs> it's literally the size of a small surfboard. Well, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a surfboard of seafood. <laughs> you could definitely surf on this, catch a wave on this platter, but wow, whole fish yeah. stuffed with rice noodles, stuffed with pickles. Oh, I see olives in the center as well. Yeah. Tomato sauce, shrimp, calamari, barigua. But this, those ones are shrimp, barigua. Oh. Yeah. oh man. Do you yeah. have the, the eating, manu <laughs> eating manual eating for manual. this one? <laughs> well, it goes all the same. At this point, it goes all the same. Okay. <laughs> I mean, not only decoration, the food is incredible, but the decoration is just impressive, outstanding. I'll go in nice. with bread. All right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think, yeah, well. Let me just dip in. <laughs> just a little bit. Rub into that fish, a little yeah. bit of the shrimp. Oh, you went to oh, the fish first. There's like, just, there's yeah. more and more chunks down there. Uh, those are like So many things, pieces of tomato. There's a lot of surprises <laughs> down there, okay. Right. Mm. No. Mm. No. Oh, wow. Mm. Yet again, another sensational dish. The tomato sauce fish with the oh. rice noodles with the olives in there. Every now and then you get a, a little ring of calamari as well. And then you can absorb with that tomato juice. Mm. Tomato sauce. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, I got some of the stuffing of the fish that mm. bite yeah. with yeah. the olives. Yeah. The olives. Mm. And there's some kind of a, maybe a carrot in there giving it some nice crunch to it as well. With the fish, the fish just the, melts in your mouth. Yeah. Pickled vegetables, you get carrots, That's you get it. like the pickles, okay. you get the cauliflower, mm. turnip, like yeah, little pickles. And so they're vegetables. pickled on the inside and that's why it's giving it such a nice acidity yeah. in the center. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, filling the cavity of the fish. The pickled vegetables giving it this beautiful complexity, adding to the contrast, the, the diversity of tastes yeah. all within the fish. I'll join you. Yeah. I'm gonna soak mine, soak mine in the tomato sauce. Mm hmm. No. Wow. Unbelievable. That is so good. <laughs> and for this bite, I'm going into the, the harissa chili sauce. Mm. Mm. Oh, with the harusha, mm. the preserved lemon, the chili. Mm. So we're just having a fruit platter for dessert. Everything is huge mm. and beautifully decorated. Oh, yeah, the mandarins are wonderful. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you oh so man, much. Yeah, that was yeah. amazing. It's been, it been a pleasure. It thank been a you. Pleasure. Thank you for yeah. your hospitality. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank, you thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. This was mm. incredible. All right, so we ended up hanging out and just 
enjoying the, I mean, such warm, incredible hospitality and just an amazing, just impressive, incredible Moroccan home cooked meal. Thank you to Mohammed and his entire family, his mom, for preparing that feast. So a huge thank you to Mohammed, uh, to Omar, to Moroccan Food Tours for arranging my entire trip to Morocco. We have a lot more coming up, a lot more still to eat, and so you're not going to want to miss any of it. Uh, so be sure to subscribe for lots more Moroccan food. We're going around the country eating some of the best food, and you're not going to want to miss any of it. So stay tuned, and thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, again, subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. Good night from Rabat, and I'll see you on the next video.